we got a new pitch today. It's Wednesday, and um, every other week we're going to be doing a new pitch at a place called Overbury, which is a quaint little Cotswolds village. We're a little bit under pressure at the moment because we're on the M5, and I don't know what's happened, but I think there may have been an accident or something ahead. So, um, good job we left in plenty of time. Perfect, thank you very much. <laughs> I never got a bit, <laughs> I wanted to get a video of it before, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instagram. You look like you look like you should be, you see. Yeah. <laughs> Birdie's got her ex. Oh, I haven't been able to get them for ages. Look at that. I love they're all different. Haley's given us some exo too, which is really kind, isn't it? Eggs are a bit of an issue at the moment for us, aren't they? Just a little bit, yeah. Usual, Just a little bit. The lady we've had for a couple of years delivering our eggs has decided to retire, semi-retire, so she's not delivering anymore. So just trying to find somebody local. If anybody knows any local egg supplies in Gloucestershire that deliver, we would be grateful. It's really hard to find somebody that can supply it and they must be stamped as well for the business, for the baking business, isn't they? Yep. These ones I can't use for bacon, I think we've said before, haven't we? But. Today's a special day because three years ago today was our first day at the farm shop. Three years ago. Can't it, believe it. It was horrendous weather, like you've never seen before. And obviously we've never set the van up really before, so it was a it was a testing day and I think we probably winged it most of the day. Oh yeah, we definitely winged it. <laughs> but, <laughs> Three years later, we're still here. So, and people, some of our customers are like very, very original. It's right from the beginning, and they still come, which is incredible, isn't it? Certainly is. Just to change the subject slightly, we had a cracking day, didn't we, at um, Overbury? So the event, as you've probably just seen, because I've put the video together, the event went really well, didn't it? It's really well. So it's we're going to be back there. It's going to be a regular thing every other yeah. Wednesday afternoon, so um, it's, it's really lovely, it's a lovely place, people seem really friendly and they like cake and coffee, so yeah. Hey, what's not to like, eh? <laughs> well, it was a bit dodgy coming home, the road had actually melted yeah. outside the um, the village the village road that runs through the village, yeah, it's as so we're driving hot. away, we're like sticking to the road, going around the corner as the van was sliding around, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I it might not be as hot next week. No. So and also today is another special day because it's Father's Day. Oh, Father's Day, yeah, of course. 
<laughs> so we're going to get to see our son yeah, later. Yeah, coming home. Well, we certainly hope we are anyway. That's the plan. Yeah, be lovely. He was uh, partying hard last night. <laughs> so. Oh, to be young again, eh? So the cakes, we had um, a definite uh, theme change this week because, I mean, I'm no cake expert, this is the cake expert. And um, she has definitely narrowed down that when the weather gets hotter, the tastes for what people want to actually have completely change. Yeah, definitely. Nobody, the chocolate stuff that we sell masses off through the winter, it definitely drops off. Everybody's looking for lemon. Lemon is the flavor. Yeah, definitely. And fruit, and, and why wouldn't you want to use the fruit that's in season at the moment? It's lovely. So you made some interesting ones. You made one with, I mean... Strawberry and, the strawberry and lemon cake. Yeah. That was really lovely, and we picked some very pretty daisies, didn't we, from our friend's garden, organic garden, so we were able to use them, and that made the cake look lovely. And um, cherry, no, raspberry and ricotta. It had ground almonds, which was like the flour substitute ricotta, so it's almost similar to a baked cheesecake, but obviously you've got the almond go for it, but really lovely. Good feedback on that one. Yeah. And um, we also did the lemon blueberry. Oh, that's almond too. Almond must have been the theme this <laughs> week. I didn't even realise. Lemon blueberry and almond loaf. And I've done that lots of times Lemon, before. yeah. And that goes really, really well. Well, it, it's worked. It's, it's been selling. So, yeah, yeah, got it right. And alongside our usual stuff that I've shown you a million times, so there's no point going over that ground again. But no. people keep coming back and demanding millionaires, flapjack and brownies. You're always changing up the counter. There's always something different on there as well, um, which keeps it interesting. Oh, the other thing is we're also changing the subject, the mugs. I know some people are waiting for a mug and Lucy, Young Ceramics, so she's messaged, hasn't she, to say that they're in the kiln and so it won't be long. Won't be too much longer. Um, I have said to her absolutely no rush at all because I know what it's like running a business. She's just started off. I don't want to put her under any pressure and hey, you know, it's a mug at the end of the day, not a kidney transplant, so, you know. It's still very important. Very important, I know it's important, but, you know. <laughs> but it won't be too long. It won't be too much longer. We have actually completely sold out. We've got one on the counter now, which is one with a slight defect in it, and we've just used that as, as a display. our display one, yeah. So, uh, yesterday we had a busy sales day, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, really busy. Um, it was a bit odd, because we had, it was it's so hot at the moment, so we had sort of hardly anybody come in and we thought the day was going to be a bit of a flop to be honest and for a Saturday as well and then we had a balmy hour and a half and pr we were practically cleared out weren't we um which great yeah it's, it's, a, it's a good thing um it's one of these things where you don't really want to be going home with tons of cake at the end of the day and you don't want to be running out either so it's a real real balancing act to know how much stuff to bring and um, I think 90% of the time we hit it quite well don't we? Yeah. Hello! Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Drifting off now. <laughs> <laughs> fitted a new chassis to it and then they need to flap it. It's just awesome, isn't it? It's really nice. Yeah. yeah it's Did you see that little Fiat? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, really cool. lovely as well, yeah. Well, the new spider's built on that. <coughs> the rescue that we had from that. Fantastic. But in the village, it's an absolute danger. <laughs>
Okay, so that's all we got time for this week. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Nice. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright You can also follow The Baking Bird UK on Facebook and on Instagram.